Hey guys, Redneck Mini 14 here. Just picked up a new handgun uh, that I had on layaway for several months and I uh, just finally picked it up today. So <laughs> let's do a little unboxing and mini review of it. It is a Ruger SR 1911. This is the Commander model or the CMD model as I think it's called. Um, I got it from this place on Gun Broker called Oakland Guns. They have their own website and they have an awesome um, layaway plan. They say it's 10 months, but I think really it's actually, um, I think really it's actually nine months with a, a down payment. So basically nine months. I did not take nine months to pay it off, but you have that option if you buy from them. It is no extra cost. Um, by the way, I believe I paid about 780 for this, um, plus, you know, shipping and FFL fees and all that. But, you know, you have your um, manual and, you know, all this stuff about um, recalls and stuff over the years. All the standard stuff that comes with Rugers nowadays. You, of course, have the gun. It is a commander uh, size gun. All stainless steel, has those nice wood grips with the Ruger medallions in them, has a skeletonized trigger, skeletonized hammer, has Novak style sights. I don't think they're technically Novak, but you know, they're basically Novak like sights. They have three dot, that's a three dot sight system. Um, and I believe the Rugers are a Series 70 design so there's no firing pin block it's actually like a titanium firing pin and a heavier firing pin spring or something <clears throat> i don't know but i still think it's a fairly safe gun even though it's not a, a series 80 with a firing pin block um being a commander style gun of course it has a four and a quarter inch barrel as opposed to a five inch barrel and you know long slide and everything has an extended magazine release as you can see here it extends out pretty far and that's pretty nice uh, does eject the magazines quite well let me get around the camera here and show this a little bit better but it ejects them quite well <clears throat> has your basic flat mainspring housing which I like has the oversized uh, beaver tail safety and um, I don't know if this is technically considered an oversized um, an oversized slide stop or not <clears throat> I don't know a whole lot about 1911s in case you didn't know this is my very first one <clears throat> And like I said, I paid like $780, somewhere around there for it, which, uh, you know, some of you guys that have like all these high-end Ed Browns and um, Les Bears and all those other high-end 1911s, you're probably like, well, $800, that's nothing. Well, uh, keep in mind, almost all of my handguns that I own, with the exception of a few, are less than $400. I don't spend a whole heck of a lot on handguns, which is why... This is my first 1911 and why I bought it from Oakland because they have an awesome layaway plan. I'm a poor college graduate. I've been out of college for a few years now and I have a pretty decent paying job compared to quite a few others out there, but it's not like a great paying job. So um, I went with the Ruger because the Ruger gives you a lot of gun for your money. Um, you know, you have the... Uh, the Remington, which I think is a little bit less than this, but it's a basic GI uh, 1911. We're talking about just the standard R1, you know, so it's a basic GI 1911 versus this, which has, you know, the nicer sights, the skeletonized trigger and hammer, the oversized beaver tail safety, uh, you know, grip safety, the oversized safety, which obviously has to be cocked because this is a single action only pistol as 1911s are supposed to be. And uh, yeah, so I think it's a pretty nice gun for the money. Now, what it comes with, um, obviously you have the gun, it has a basic cardboard box. And if you look under here, You have a second 
seven round magazine. It has two seven rounders. Now the full size version will have an eight rounder and a seven rounder. I actually kind of like the seven rounders. I know they're one less round, but um, I like how they're flush fitting. I don't really particularly care for magazines that extend past the grip of the gun. Um, and it doesn't extend a whole lot, but I mean, still, I personally just think that the seven rounder looks better. And I think you can find eight round magazines that are still flush fitting. Like I think Colt makes flush fitting eight round magazines, but I could be wrong. Um, but I do think they are out there. So you have two magazines, you have your little cable lock, um, which I guess Ruger is starting to cheap out on some of their guns as far as the lock goes. And you have this little takedown tool, which is for the barrel bushing. So you just take this little wrench and you put it on the barrel bushing and the little, little plug there to more easily take down your pistol. Um, but that's it. Now, I know back in the day when Ruger first came out with these pistols, at least the government uh, model 1911, uh, the full-size model, uh, it would come with a soft case. I don't know if they're still doing that. Um, they might. Again, this is a commander uh, version of the gun. Um, and the reason, well, the biggest reason I got this version versus the full-size version is because this is what they had. But I also do really like the commander size. I think, in my opinion, it is uh, more proportionate to itself. Um, in other words, like if you compare this to a lot of modern day pistols, like say a Glock 17 or a Smith & Wesson MMP or something like that, a lot of more modern day pistols, they have a barrel length of like around four inches um, with a full length grip. And to me, this is a a better proportionate looking gun as opposed to like a five inch barrel which is just a little more unproportionate um, where it has a longer slide and sight radius which is good and then a shorter grip or well a, the same size grip anyway um, which isn't bad I just think that this personally looks a little bit better and I really do not care for like the target 1911s like some of those 10 millimeters that have the six inch barrel. I think those just look ridiculous. And I know they have their place and their purpose and a lot of people really like them, but I prefer just kind of a, either a, a government model 1911 or a commander model 1911 like this one. Um, those are really the only two types of 1911s I particularly care for. The officer model is, it's okay. It's more for concealed carry, but you know, I just prefer the larger, uh, more full-size guns. So anyway, that is the Ruger SR 1911 CMD or Commander um, pistol. So yeah, that's pretty much everything that comes with it. That's all the basic features. I don't, uh, I haven't taken this gun apart yet. I've never actually taken a 1911 apart. Not that it's hard, but typically when you do something for the first time on camera, you tend to mess it up. So I might do a separate video on that, but there are tons of takedown videos on the 1911 because it's like the most popular handgun ever. Um, so, you know, I may or may not do that. But uh, other than that, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. Might do a shooting video at some point. Uh, I'm going to take it out tomorrow and uh, put a couple rounds through it anyway and uh, see how it shoots. So, subscribe to my channel, like me on Facebook. I'm Redneck Mini 14 and until next time, be safe.